Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, actually, only one item to hit on this week, uh, but it's a big one. Um, I have been running into a lot of issues with the uh, input mapper um, settings uh, classes that I developed. Uh, actually, it's a recycled version that I was using in input mapper, uh, the open device interaction framework from 2.0. Uh, I recycled that, used it in Input Mapper here, and it was working up until today, and now it's uh, showing uh, some of its shortcomings. Um, it's having issues where a lot of the settings and all that stuff I'm using are getting a lot more complex in this application, such as saving mappings and uh, different uh, like macro actions, stuff like that, things that, you know, it's expecting a a single type where it's you know either just like a yes or no or a numeric input it's turning into these big stored like classes of data uh, per setting and it really wasn't developed for that so it's having issues with the serializing and deserializing the data um, and trying to match it up with its uh, ambiguous and dynamic uh, variables and all that stuff so um, all that Technical jargon aside, basically, it's going to need a complete rewrite. Um, I'm hoping to keep all the actual setting uh, user controls uh, and just redirect them to new user types. Uh, that way, all I have to do is rewrite the types. Um, but it is going to require um, a lot of work in the back end to change all the code uh, that we're going through my... Uh, helper classes to help you know retrieve and set these variables are now going to have to be changed to work with uh, a new method and I think what I'm going to go with I'm just going to go with strongly typed classes and figure out some way to iterate properties in a class and automatically uh, show my setting pages based on that and I think I have some code sitting somewhere that will help with that that I used when iterating um, variables in a device state class back when I also did input mapper 2.0 um, I had a feature in that that allowed you to view all the raw data of a device uh, and it did that by just looping through all the variables inside the status uh, status class and displaying it to UI um, and it determined what type of variable it was whether it was a, a yes or no a bool or a numeric value and displayed the correct uh, display the correct uh, con control based on that. So I think uh, with that, I should be able to develop something to, uh, instead of using my like dictionary-based setting classes, I can actually create uh, strongly typed classes that it then actually spits out to uh, setting pages and stuff like that. So um, long story short, uh, all the cool stuff that I was really hoping to be working on last week and this week is on hold. Uh, since, you know, I can't really develop something if the settings for it aren't going to save. Uh, if the user isn't going to be able to, you know, change stuff and save it. Um, this is, I ran into this issue when I was working with the, uh, the, uh, what was it, the mapping control. And I had to do some really code that I'm not happy with to make that, but I was able to make it work, so I just let it slide. Uh, but now as I get into the stick um, like the actual tuning and all that stuff, all the, all the features I want to make for that, um, it's becoming too much of an issue. Uh, and I don't want to sacrifice features, uh, just to get it to work. So, uh, yeah, it's going to go, uh, it's going to get rewritten. Um, but I have a plan and I think it should only take me a few days of, you know, solid work, keeping my head down and doing that. So, um, Hopefully I can get that swapped out, uh, and then I'm going to do a, another beta push once I think I have that swapped out um, that don't necessarily have all the features that I'm also, you know, working on on the side. Um, I just want to test and, you know, get it in other people's hands to make sure that this swap uh, of the code is working properly and there's no known bugs. Uh, and then I'll, you know, continue back on to working on the uh, finishing up the axis tuning and then on to macros, which is the cool stuff. All right, guys, 
Um, that's about it this week. Uh, sorry, it's not something, you know, more interesting or there's no show and tell or anything. Um, but, yeah, uh, thanks for checking out these videos and uh, continue to check out these videos and, you know, jump around the forums and, you know, get involved and all that stuff because um, even though, you know, the steady, uh, the, the large influx of users that we had at the beginning that was, you know, fully funding everything, even though that started to dip out, um, the advertising revenue that we get just from you guys using our website, you know, uh, looking at these videos, reading the articles, uh, getting involved with other people, even if it's just a chit chat, uh, even if it doesn't involve input map or anything like that, um, it all helps us, uh, you know, generate the ad revenue that keeps this uh, website and project going. So, uh, thank you guys for that. Keep it up, and I will see you as soon as I have something more to sh say. Have a good one.